And now a small test of my ability to do commentary. Hey guys, we're getting all the upgrades in one episode. First of all, let's start on City Escape, where we get Sonic's last upgrade, and it is going to be down in this hole if I can actually get down there. Come on, Sonic. Beat up those two baddies. And we take the magic gloves. This is perhaps the weirdest upgrade in the game. It really doesn't do much for you as far as getting to new places, but um, it's kind of fun to screw around with a little bit. And I demonstrated here, just walking up to this enemy, turning him into a small ball <laughs> that you can throw at things, weirdly enough. It's kind of neat. And we're back with Tails. I pointed out this door when I was running through the uh, hero story. All you have to do is blow it up with a bazooka you get from later in the game, and you can grab the Laser Blaster. The Laser Blaster just upgrades your homing capabilities and allows you to lock on to more things, and also explode more things with your lock-ons. Dr. Eggman gets a version of that later. Now back on Hidden Base, the Mystic Melody is just on the other side of that one door we came across earlier. The faster way to get to it is to blow up some boxes. With the bazooka, you need and you get later in the game, as I've said before. Now, we're back with Knuckles in Aquatic Mine. Aquatic Mine has one of the uh, more tedious upgrades to get. You have to set the water level to the third floor and then go down to the second floor. And I'm going to get lost here. <laughs> Don't follow what I'm doing right now, because I kind of went all derpy and I was like, well, where the, where do I go now? It said I go down to the second floor, but I don't, I don't see, I don't see where it is. I'm, I'm so confused. Uh, but I figured it out. You go down this mine shaft, and then there's this little brick corridor that you swim down into, and you go through this big water pipeline place, and you dodge a lot of beams and stuff, and it kind of tests your ability to move around underwater a little bit. But you have just enough air to get to where the upgrade is. By going up this final pipe, you can already see it. It's like right there. And this upgrades the air necklace. The air necklace allows you to breathe underwater. This is going to come in handy for... Some other things I shouldn't spoil yet. We'll get to it when we get to it. Meteor Herd has another one of the really annoying upgrades for Knuckles. You see this meteor on this platform here that I'm sort of doing contrails around right now? Uh, yeah. What you have to do with this meteor is you have to run up to it and punch it into that door over there. It took me about eh, five or six times to get this right. But once I finally got it, um... Everything was peachy, and I was, I was cool, but it was quite annoying to do. And then once you grab that, you go up and head down after not taking the rocket because you don't really need to do that. <laughs> derp -a -de derp -a -de derp And eventually you'll wind up in this chamber with the sunglasses. Sunglasses are Knuckles' most badass looking upgrade that turn on um, the Eye of Truth Vision from uh, Legend of Zelda you might be familiar with. It's basically all it does. Another thing required for bonus missions that is not part of the hero story at all. And with that we're back in Wild Canyon. All you have to do in Wild Canyon to get your last upgrade with Knuckles that we didn't grab was dig through a wall and it's right there. Easy peasy limit squeezy. Now back to the Dark Story characters. Radical Highway has a really easy one to get to if you have the Light Shoes, which you get later in the game. Shadow's Flame Ring. Used, of course, for destroying all those iron containers we're so used to seeing and blowing up. Sky Rail is where there was an upgrade that I was not aware of. Um, Shadow's version of Ancient Light is on this level. And in order to get it, I kind of had to derp around a little bit. And I recorded my derping for you, yay! I was like, I see all these beetles, and I don't know why they're there, and I'm not sure... Oh, there's one behind... he's hiding behind that pillar over there. I should go investigate it. Hmm. And then... I need to fall to my death. Okay, fine. No, 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 we can get it this time. 
We, we can we can do this. We have the power. Eh, eh, ooh. And Ancient Light. Of course, we've already used this with Sonic once, so you should be familiar with what it does. But I'm going to go ahead and blow up these beetles out of rage, because I've died about ten times by this point trying to find this. It's also a good time to mention that Ancient Light sometimes likes to bug out. Um, and cause you to do this. Which is kind of amusing, I guess. You just kind of float in the air. Sort of stuck on the enemy until you... Um, Flick the tr control stick to modify your turn angle. But with that, we're back to Dr. Eggman and Iron Gate. This is the first level. Behind a couple of water containers and iron things, we get the laser blaster, which is exactly like the upgrade we just got with Tails. Does exactly the same thing. But Dr. Eggman's missing melody is something I could have actually picked up in the story. I just didn't know it was there until... Actually, no, I lied. You need the booster to get this. I forgot. There. Yup. You have to have the booster, and it's right on the other side of the first chasm that you come across. You just gotta run over and grab it. And then you got it! And then you can sing to the little shrines and make them happy. Rouge has a very easy upgrade to get in the Mystic Melody, and you actually need it to get the last of her upgrades. So we'll go grab Mystic Melody first, as shown. Do a quick dance, and then move on to Security Hall. In order to get this upgrade, you have to go to Section C of the Yellow, and there will be a shrine right there that you have to sing to. First when I was reading this walkthrough, I was like, Section C? I'm at Section C, I don't see it. Where, where is it? What is, what is this blasphemy? So after a bunch of running around... Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Let's, let's sing to the thing. Sweet and happy song. It spawns all these nice little platforms for us. And then you punch out these two containers, or fall to your death. In a retarded fashion. Yes, good job. Yeah, it's gonna blow up. You better gr you better grit that upgrade before the island blows up. And for some reason, I thought the platforms had disappeared, so I came back to redo this to try to get them to respawn. But apparently, once you spawn platforms, they just stay there. They don't have a duration. So kick down these walls, and you get the Vegeta upgrade. Treasure scope. It, um, is a scanner that does what Knuckles' sunglasses do. And let's turn them on really quick. Oh, lovely. Not quite as cool as Knuckles' sunglasses, but they look nice nevertheless. Hey guys, it didn't take me long to get those upgrades at all, so let's just keep going with the, the main story. We have the last act ahead of us. It is a giant question mark of doom! What what does it mean? I don't even I don't even know. But all those upgrades are gonna help us out a lot. After I get the mouse off the screen. What's going on? Why doesn't the cannon fire? What what's happening here? What's that? That vibration? Hey, wait! Someone is coming! You... You haven't given up yet? No, it's all over for us. What do you mean? I just received a message from my boss. This space colony arc is currently approaching the Earth at an incredible velocity. It probably will impact Earth. What's that on the screen? This is a death sentence for every human being on Earth. If my calculations are correct, the Space Colony Arc will impact the Earth in 27 minutes and 53 seconds. All of you will be destroyed. 
destroyed along with your beloved planet Earth. scientific minds in the world, and my grandfather. What? I knew you were behind all this. Stop it right now, or else... I'd have done this a long time ago if I had the chance. What do you mean? You're pretty persistent for a hedgehog, aren't you? You're still alive. <laughs> Just letting Knuckles pilot the shuttle on the way over here was more dangerous than you could ever be. What is this? This is my grandfather's diary. I don't quite know what happened or what went wrong. Was it a mistake to create the ultimate life form? I thought it would be something that would benefit mankind, but then the military guards landed on the colony that day. They were sent to destroy the research project that I had been working on. My colleagues at the research facility, my granddaughter, Maria, I hope you are all safe. The colony, the colony was completely was shut down, down, probably to probably keep the to prototype keep the from prototype falling into the wrong hands. Into the wrong hands. The art was shut down under the premise that there had been an accident. I found Maria's name among those who died when the art was shut down. She meant everything to me, and I couldn't bear the thought that she died because of my research. I lost everything. I had nothing more to live for. I went insane. All I could think about was to avenge her. Somehow, some way, I got scared as I no longer was able to control my thoughts. All I could think about was that I wanted it all to Based on my original projections, I was able to complete my project, Shadow. I designed its mind to be perfect, pure. I will leave everything to him, if you wish. Release and awaken it if to the world! If you wish to fill the world with destruction... Oh, so that's why you released Shadow from the, the base. The core of the Eclipse Cannon is now highly reactive and explosive. This is because the Chaos Emerald is overpowering. If the colony collides with Earth, it will shatter into pieces like my grandfather Freddy. That mad scientist! That should be you, right? We have to stop the space colony now! The space colony acquisition may have shifted due to the amount of energy given off by the emeralds. We have to stop the energy. But how? Hmm, that's it. There is a way to stop the energy. We have to use your emerald. You're the one that told me that the Master Emerald has the power to stop the Chaos Emerald. That's right. If I use this, I just might be able to stop the Chaos Emerald. The reaction of the Chaos Emerald is moving toward the cannon's core. It may be too late. There still may be some time left. If we pull together, we might be able to get to the shortcut that leads to the core. Let's get to work!
Final stage, Cannon's Core! We're going to play as every single character except for, for one on this level. First, we're starting off as Tails. To blow through the first line of defenses. Die! Die! Okay, fine, whatever. We're gonna run into a lot of these little switches. They stop time, effectively. And they're gonna be throughout this entire part. So, we have to flick them pretty much on and off as much as we possibly can. Ah, jerk ass. I hate these things! God dang it! <sighs> okay. Alright, we're good. This is what I wanted all my power ups for, by the way. This is a long ass level. Okay. Oh, laser beams! <sighs> okay, got it. Let's see, I need to hover down and try to knock both of these dynamite packs in my descent. Oof. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna freaking rush all those monsters. They suck! God, these things suck! Ah! Worst freaking enemies in the game, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Now, on this one, I think we need to wait until we get these lined up the right way. Let's see, they're gonna go up. Um, at the same time, I think. There we go. Go, 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 go. Move up, move up. Oh, I gotta wait until that goes down. Lock on and fire. It. Got it. Blow it up, Tails! Come on! Awesome. <sighs> so now we're on Dr. Eggman's part. Like I said before, we're gonna have to switch between all of the characters, except for one, to get through this entire thing. And you'll see what the one is at the end of the mission. I'm not gonna spoil it just yet. That wouldn't be fun. But you can pretty much already guess which one we're not going to be using. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap! Ugh. I just complained about how horrible these were. Oh, I figured out how to kill them now. You have to lock onto them and then, we, and then they expose their little head pieces. Yeah, okay, I got it. I got this. I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. I'm wondering if it would just be easier to just... Okay, wait until they shoot, wait until they shoot, wait until they shoot. Whew! Almost got myself killed. I might have gotten myself- Whew! Whew! Killed. Okay, collect rings. No, 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 no! Okay, we're almost done with Dr. Eggman's part. If we're getting this room. Okay. Let's see here. Those are going down. I need to go ahead and lock onto that. And then we're gonna wait, I think, until one comes out of the middle, and then jump over here. And then it's going to take us up here, and then we can just jump off. I'm amazed that I can actually remember all this. Whoo! Whoo! Good time for me to blast that. Okay, I'm just gonna keep shooting it. Just keep time frozen. Whoa! Oh no, okay. No, we were supposed to do that. 
Alright, let's head down. Just avoid those if we can. I want to save all my life. Oh! Oof. Oof. Why wow, that platform is moving kind of fast, isn't it? I got your dirty little tricks, you little things. Okay, I see it. It's gonna be up on the same platform like it was in Tails' room. So let's lock onto that power switch and then fire... No, that was a little late. We gotta jump between the two platforms to our left there. They're timed pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock on again. Fire. Oh! Oh crap! Oof! Oof! Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. Um. Actually. Actually, 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 actually. I'm gonna go ahead and jump to this one. And then jump off. Oof. Controller! You dirty son of a bitch. Okay, I think we're good. Get that door. Yay! Awesome. Drain the liquid from the core, got it. For this part we need to go ahead and start ascending all these little platforms. Um I think I'll do it this one. And then over here. Oh crap. Eh. And then we gotta go across to this platform. Get up on top of it. Eh. And then just keep following this pattern here. Until we're up at the very, 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 very top of the platform. Yeah, there we go. Now, we're gonna flick the switch, and the camera rotated like that, just show us exactly where we're gonna need to go. Blow him up while time's paused. Okay. Go ahead and crawl around down in here. We're gonna have to wait a little bit and get this box out of the way first. Not quite right. Okay, exactly right there. Got it. Go and blow this thing up while well, we've got a chance to. Oh crap. Whew! Alright, now we gotta make it all the way back. So let's go ahead and. No, we can't freeze that right now. We gotta wait until that box clears the gap again. There we go. That should be good. Oh, do I have to go all the way? Oh, I do. Oh, jeez. This is gonna be fun. Go ahead and flip the switch. Made it! Alright, flick it. And now the core is being flooded with liquid, and Rouge is going to die via drowning. Just kidding. She'll get out. Surely she'll get out. Alright. This door requires a switch. So, we need to go ahead... I'm gonna blow this up just so it doesn't kill us later. Get him out of there. Now, that's gonna be a laser grid that we kinda need to get through at some point. But in order to get through it, we have to have time paused. So, what we're gonna have to do here... Go on and grab that one up really quick. 
we're gonna need to do here is get through, I think, this tunnel first? Yeah, that's right. Go through this tunnel first. And now you can see why I wanted to grab the, uh, the air necklace. Because it makes this part infinitely easier. Go ahead and swim up here. Take this. I'm hoping I'm actually going the right way. For some reason, I don't think I am. Because this looks like where we went, where we just came from with Rouge. And Knuckles needs to go to a different place, I think. Okay, flick the switch. No, Knuckles, don't flick it then. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, now. Yeah, that's why this gate isn't here. Alright. We're gonna need to go somewhere we didn't go before. We did see one of these doors up here open. So, I'm thinking maybe... We need to figure out how to get through that. So, let's see here. What do we do to get through that? I wonder. Is there any buttons around here? That we can flick. Oh, right, this one. Oh, I see what we gotta do. Okay, I got it. I got this. I need to hit the switch, go up. Nice. That's gonna deactivate that laser field. Got it. All right, we're good. Moving out. So now we can go through this top part here, which should lead us to the switch we need to open the door. Finding these things underwater is going to be very mean. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Don't die, Knuckles. There we go. Grab those rings up. Uh, jerk. Don't die, Knuckles. Get through there. There you go. Okay, we gotta stop the water flow. Cool. Just gotta figure out where the switch in here is. While dodging these jerks. Eh. Alright, I got this. I know. We gotta hit this switch right here. Yeah. Go knuckles, go knuckles, go knuckles, go knuckles. Oh, barely made it. Oh wow. Just what I wanted. More trip wires. Eh, or lasers. They're bad. Whatever they are, they're bad. Okay. You don't want to hit Big the Cat, get the hell out of here. Jerk. Just randomly catting around. Okay. Ooh, carefully hit that switch. Carefully, carefully, carefully. There we go. Let's swim back up here. No. Okay, 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 okay. Wait. Hit the switch. Hit the switch. Hit it. There we go. Go, 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 go. Alright, we're set. Oh, not! We're not set! We're not set! We're not set! Oof. Did not get enough speed going there at the end. I wasn't expecting to see another switch. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no! <laughs> Dang it! Our underwater navigation skills are not up to par today. Go, 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 go. Oh, come on. I'm gonna have to get a little bit of a head start on this. Like, swim through it instead of backwards. 
but you can see like this would be have been so hard without the air necklace it would have been just like not impossible but ridiculous oh i don't think i'm gonna have enough time yeah not enough time okay I did it once. I did it once already. So this is doable. I've just got to... Come on! Yeah! There we go. Got it. Whew! Push button. Push button. Push button. Push it. And now, time for the hardest Sonic level. This is an evil, evil, evil thing. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Light attack. Boom! Screw you guys. Screw you thing. I think we have to go... No, we can't... Okay. Okay, that was dumb. What do we gotta do? We can't go down. Oh, that's one of the ones where you have to just blow up all the doors. Got it. Or blow up all the enemies to open a door. He's gonna spawn all those, so I'm just gonna go ahead and charge this up again. Go! Yeah, I see the door we need to open now. It's on the other side. So what we're gonna need to do is not die again. And do this tricky little maneuver here. Door should be open now. Yes, it is. Cool. Oh god! Ready? Charge up the light attack! And die! Um. Go, 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 go! Nice. Okay. We need to bounce up here. And hit this. Right? Did I go the right way? I don't think I did. I hope I did not just get myself stuck somehow. No, I didn't. I'm good. I'm just not paying attention. Down the rope! Nice! This is going to bring back some memories of uh, Super Mario 64, I think. Look at all the architecture in here, though. This doesn't look like something that would be on the inside of a space station. Wee! Super fun slip and slide of death and destruction. made it. Yeah, it's a hard level. I wasn't expecting to get anything better than that. Oh, I hate it when they leave me behind. Look, it's Shadow. I really gotta stop whining. Everyone's trying their best to help out, and so must I! Shadow, we need you! Please help us! It's all going according to plan. There's no reason for me to help them. Besides, there's no way to save anyone. There has to be! I know that people fight over the most trivial things. Some people may be selfish, like the professor said. But they're basically good if they try their best and never give up on their wishes. They always have a reason to be happy. That's why you should help them out. Saving them is a good thing. Shadow, I beg you, please do it for them. Give them a chance. <laughs> 
Shino, I beg of you, please, do it for me. For Maria! Future, for all people who live on that planet, give them a chance to be happy. Let them live for their dreams. Shadow, I know you can do it. That's the reason why you were brought into this world. Sayonara. Shadow, the hedgehog. I promised her. And I must keep that promise. That's Shadow? what you really wished for. I've got to go now. I have to keep my promise to Maria. And you. Just like the shrine of the Master Emerald. They probably designed the core like the shrine to harness the power of the Chaos Emeralds. Hope you're ready for a badass boss fight! I'm not gonna do much talking during this. Just enjoy it. Getting stuck down there would have been bad. Oh, oh crap, I forgot about this part. Eh! Down. Roll. Up. Roll. Oh crap! It's a little bit of Simon Says. <sighs> Might take a couple attempts for me to get that just right. So bad at this. Oh, jerk! 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 I'm just gonna grab these two. Oh, now he's gonna start doing this thing.
this boss goes through phases, as you can see. We got two more hits left. Dang it! It's getting so fast near the end of this. Darn it. Luckily, you can hold on to your rings just as long as you recover fast enough. Oh, no, no, no! Oof! In his final phase, this part stinks, I hate it. Just roll with the balls, roll with the balls, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Roll, 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 whack it, yeah! Woo! It's the first time I was able to kill him in one try. Get out, you ugly and it's been ages, that boss used to give me such a panic, jeez. Seven Chaos. Chaos is power. Power is enriched by the heart. The controller is the one that unifies the chaos. Only you can do this. Stop the Chaos Emeralds! Stop the Chaos Emeralds. Why is the space colony still on a crash course to Earth? Oh, it wouldn't be Sonic Adventure without a Dragon Ball Z moment. So this one's a little different. In order to go up and down, we have to hit A and B. Otherwise, we're just flying. And we gotta hit these exposed red spots. While we're playing as either or, the other's collecting rings for us. So we're pretty much on a timer for this as well. starts getting a little harder later. When we get to the last two bits of his health bar, it'll get a bit difficult. Yeah. 
E. 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 Yes. One more. The best strategy is not to screw around too much, just to rush him. Okay, let's see if we can get him dead. Oh, oh god. Super balls. Come on, Shadow. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Eh. They're both locking on. Okay, switch positions. That's good. That's better. It's actually, no, it's not a better spot at all. Ugh, crap. Come on. I might have to switch out for Sonic to get this done. Yeah, I'm basically getting locked down. This is horrible. Oh, it doesn't automatically switch you. I'm stupid. There's got to be a button to do that, then. Alright. Well, we'll give it another shot. That was really unfortunate. I think it's the Y button. Okay. I thought it was an automatic switch, otherwise we would have been fine. Derp. It's been a while. All I remember are the uh, horizontal vertical controls. He don't race me, laser. Can both of you hear me? Atmosphere. No, 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 no. Oh, crap. Yeah, there we go. Two more hits. We got plenty of time. I don't know why they keep giving us all this advice, like, mid-fight. It doesn't make any sense to me. It... Uh... Oh, crap! He blocked it right at the last second. Son of a jerk. When we get down to about 10 rings, I'm probably going to switch. Got it. What? What in the world? I know I just hit it. Um, yeah, okay. How do I switch then? I hit every single button. How do I switch? Son of a bitch! Uh, controls, please. D tell me, tell me how to switch, because because I don't, I don't. Oh, I remember now. I'm stupid. I remember how you freaking switch. You have to just fly over him. Because they're on either side. I'm derp. Yeah. Okay. I think I know how to do this now. If you just switch over and under him, I think that's how you do it. I'll test it if I run low on rings again. Hopefully that won't be an issue. I've got 22 lives to work with, at least. Okay, that's a good spot. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. There we go. Okay, 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 no, that's fine, that's fine, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. You can do stupid crap like that to me if you really want to. Oh! Oh, that's cheating! Cheap, 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 cheap thing. And I know I hit him that time. You can't tell me I did not hit him that time. Okay, let's try this. I'm gonna have to go over him. 
Yeah, that's it. Alright, we got it. We figured it out. Screw your lasers! So I'm pretty sure Tails' voice actor is a girl at this point. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, it's just he's got a very boyish, effeminate thing going. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Huh, huh, aww. Stupid balls! <sighs> got it. Phew. One more, one more, one more. You can tell when you're starting to run out of time on this by uh, the color of the atmosphere, because you can actually see the, like, the orange starting to show up. There is a bit of a timer. I think- oh crap! Man, I almost had it. No, 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 no. Yeah, he's starting to enter the atmosphere. We don't have a lot more time. Yeah! Got him! Woo! This is what you wanted, right? This is my promise I made to you. Where is Shadow? Do you really think that the Professor created him, oh Shadow, to carry out the revenge on all those who live here on Earth? He was what he was, a brave and heroic hedgehog who gave his life to save this planet. Shadow the Hedgehog. I guess you're right. As a child, I looked up to my grandfather because of all the great things he accomplished in his life. He was my hero, and I wanted to be a great scientist like him. But... Did he really mean to destroy us? I don't know, but what I do know is... We all did it together! You're right. So what's next for you, Rouge? Off again to find those jewels you love so much? Nah, I think I'm gonna give up this line of work. Too much work for too little pay. Anyway, I've got something better than jewels that I'm thinking about right now. It'll all work out, you'll see. If you say so. Created the ultimate life form. What's the matter, Sonic? Oh, it's nothing. Come on, let's go home. Do the planet as cool and blue as me. Sayonara, Shadow. 
the hedgehog. Well, told you this game was amazing. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. Right Place Sonic Adventure 2. Lovely, lovely time we had. This is going to turn into probably the longest episode of anything I've ever put on my channel. I'm going to throw in the, the update, or the uh, upgrades segment with this last bit, because that'll work out to be about an hour. So, uh, wow. This is going to take a while to render. Anyway, um, what we got next? I guess I'm going to get back to Jade Empire. Uh, I'm not really sure about recording Dragon Age anymore just because, like, I tried to play it on my computer and was barely able to run it without fraps. So I might have to mm, play around with the idea of recording it uh, maybe later when my computer's got a little bit more processing power to give it justice. In the meantime, though, while I'm thinking for what I'm going to record next, or do a Let's Play of next, um, Jade Empire will probably be getting finished, and I started to think yesterday about heading back to Bioshock 2 and just going, to ha going ahead and wrapping that up, as well as going back and looking at a few of the other projects I've done, and maybe dredging some stuff up that I tried to do before that I never really finished. But um, regardless of what happens and what comes out... I'll still be making these videos, and hopefully you'll still be enjoying them. 